In other news this afternoon, day two of the trial in the Lake Erie homicide case, jurors seeing photographs of the woman investigators say was killed by her husband. Jackie Roberts joins us now in the newsroom with the latest on this case and uh, some dramatic um, testimony today, to say the least. Yeah, definitely, Sean. And a main point of today's testimony was the condition of the woman's body after several weeks underwater. Prosecution testimony continues into a second day in the Christopher LeClaire homicide trial. Now through photographs, an Erie County jury is learning more about what led to Karen LeClaire's death. Investigators say her husband shot her in the head, then threw her into Lake Erie while the two were on their commercial fishing boat last June. The judge warns the jury the images are not meant to inflame emotion. The prosecution presenting pictures of what was described as Karen LeClaire's body bloated and tied up to an anchor. A medical expert who examined the body after it surfaced in Dunkirk, New York, spoke to the cause of death, while the jury saw images of bullet wounds to the victim's head. That examiner saying, quote, this is a devastating injury and causes death nearly instantaneously. The Prosecutors then area. carried in a piece of key evidence, the anchor itself. The defense is not denying that Mr. LeClaire tied up his wife and tossed her into the lake, but they're disputing the fact that he shot the gun. LeClaire's lawyer says Karen committed suicide on their boat and the defendant panicked. The prosecution is seeking a first-degree murder conviction. In opening statements, the assistant district attorney said that LeClaire had to choose between his wife and his girlfriend, and somehow he thought killing Karen was his way out. Sean. Jackie Roberts live in the newsroom tonight. Thank you, Jackie.